Gaffer, what's your assessment of results and performances since the last international break? Um, yeah, well, I think that obviously we've had that little sort of spell that week where we performed extremely well. You know, we put um, we put some really strong performances and got some really good results against three of the top teams in the league. I think Cardiff, um, another team that was in the top six, I think, when we played them. So they, they've been going well. I, I think that first half we were, we were better than them. I thought we had some good opportunities. I think second half was probably a disappointing and frustrating from our point of view. Um, we didn't really create enough chances. So I think a point was probably a fair result in, in, when you look at the, the whole game. Um, but I think we've got a good opportunity in this one to go in and try and get another good result. You know, last year was probably one of my favourite away performances of the season. I really enjoyed the game. Um, and if we can get anywhere near close to that type of performance, I'd be really pleased. When you've played as well as we had done for the previous three matches, you know, consistency at this level is always difficult. Um, but we want to try and achieve that as, as much as we can. We want to try and be as consistent with our performance as well as the results. And I think that we got into this game, obviously four games unbeaten, I think it's good. But like I was saying earlier, I, I still think there's a bit of glass ceiling for us in terms of getting into that top half and staying in that top half consistently. You know, and that's got to be our first aim. And I think how we do that is by winning games like this. And I think if we can win this game, it should solidify us in that top half of the table. It's three clean sheets on the bounce. What do you put that down to? I think consistency, you know, in terms of personnel. I think consistency in terms of how we play. I think we've been searching for that since the start of the season, but it's not been helped by players being injured, players being suspended, maybe having to chop and change. Um, and even at times having to chop and change within games with players coming off, you know, Southampton game in particular sort of springs to mind. So, um, but I think now that we've started to find a bit of a rhythm with players being available and being consistent, um, I think performances have then backed that up and results have then come off the back of it. So, yeah, long may it continue. Games are, are, are decided and swayed by a lot of the time what you can bring off the bench and how you can impact the next part of the game. I think that's going to be vitally important between now and the second half of the season. And also, I just think that competition, you know, even we freshened our team up away at Middlesbrough and the lads that then came in performed extremely well. And when that happens, I think there's a lot of confidence, a lot of belief within the group. Whoever's going to play that we've got a good opportunity to win some games. The lads that are playing are always happy, you know, because they're in the team and they would just want to go out and play football. The lads that are not playing, that's always the most challenging part of the job, you know, but I think that when the team's playing well and the team's consistent, I think the lads that are not playing I've got a good understanding of the fact, well, if I'm playing well and I'm in the team, I'd expect that me to get the, an opportunity in the next game. And I think that that was important in the last game because obviously the likes of Josh Laurent and guys like that came in in Middlesbrough and did extremely well. Um, but the likes of Wooter hadn't been dropped for that game. They'd been rested because obviously what they put into the two previous games, hence the reason why they then came into the, the, the last game against Cardiff. So, um, but yeah, I, I think there's been an element of consistency in terms of the team selection and also how we're playing. And then obviously everybody's sort of chomping at the bit to get in the team. And obviously I've got some big decisions again to make for this weekend. And what sort of challenges do you expect from a Coventry side? I think that they will be in search of getting the next result really. You know, like most teams in the Championship, I think they want to get a win under their belt, particularly at home before the break. Um, albeit, I don't think they're in a good run of form at the moment, but there's not been a lot in the games, you know, I've watched a lot of their games this week and um, yeah, it's fine margins, you know, it really is, whether you take a chance or you miss an opportunity or, or something like that. So um, it's going to be a tough game, it's going to be a different game for what we've faced in recent weeks, so it'll be another challenge for us. There's a whole load of the club's staff going up to, to watch the game on Saturday, how important do you see togetherness among the whole club and, and do you feel that within the setup here at Stoke at the moment? I think we've made huge strides and such a conscious effort to involve and include everyone, you know, whether they're working at the training ground, whether they're working at the stadium. Um, I think the engagement with fans has been has been brilliant. You know, I think we've done a lot of sort of Q and A's, we've done a lot of sort of integration with the fans. The lads have been doing a lot of work in the community as well. So um, yeah, we want the people of Stoke to feel as if it's their club, which it is, and also we're representing them, but more importantly we're accessible. You know, and they've got a they've got a sort of a voice and they've got an opinion that, that obviously we want to listen to and, and we want to sort of be part of everything that's going on in and around the area. I think that, like we say, that, that sort of glass ceiling, they try to stay in that top half and be competitive in the top half throughout hopefully the second half of the season. That, that's that got to be what our next aim is, is to make sure that we can try and cast off that bottom half of the table and look upwards. So, But the only way to do that is you need to perform well and you need to be consistent. So 
get a good opportunity to do that on Saturday.